I need to do this definitely more often. Let's be fair, like if you do it into exact, you're fine. You've got in 6,000 foot of runway, and here you've got less than half that. If this was a real life situation, I'd be like, let's just go for a field. And that's the problem. <laughs> that's why we're doing it. A little bit of traffic though. For f**k's sake. <laughs> Can we get a f**k minute? And you've just hit the nail on the head as to why I like doing this stuff. Though. The good old biennial flight review. Every 24 months, you've got to come out with an instructor and demonstrate that you still have the skills necessary to be a good aviator. You have to do a minimum of one hour of groundwork, one hour flight time as well, going through pretty much anything that the instructor deems necessary. Those, those are minimums. Now, you could have a pilot certificate, but not flown for a long time. You come in and do a flight review and the instructor may deem it that you may need a little bit of extra training, which means you'd have to go maybe over the hour minimum on the ground or over the hour minimum in flight. I've had people come to me after not flying for like 15 years. That all they have to do is a flight review, but it takes multiple sessions to build up the proficiency to a level that is acceptable. So today's flight review is with my good friend Otto. You've seen Otto on the channel before many a time, but what does a flight portion of a flight review consist of? Usually you'll see the, the, the normal suspects, the slow flight, the stalls, the steep turns. I do like to do those things, but I'm the type of CFI that likes to take things a step further, a step into the real world. Real world scenarios cannot be beat. I like to do things that maybe haven't been practiced much, so it's good to get them into the pilot seat, throw a scenario or two at them that they're not kind of used to. One of the things we're gonna go up to do is to go up and do a steep spiral emergency descent. That is only tested here in the United States at the commercial pilot level. Uh, and I think it's something that is very important to be trained or worked on by all levels, really even going down to the private pilot for reasons that we'll get into once we're in the sky with Otto. Just a little disclaimer, you're not gonna see everything that we do in the flight review, like we've already done the ground uh, portion in the FBO. How you doing? Let's just free flight. You good? I want to see if you do it correctly. Well, then I forget. I'll just continue. Continue doing your stuff. <laughs> continue doing your stuff. <laughs> oh, I see. That's the wrong one. Uh... That's the wrong one. <laughs> I'd like you to do it correctly, please. Welcome to the sky. <laughs> that's not it. We're not up there yet. <laughs> Remain clear of my propeller. I'm commencing engine start. Well, well, he is. Do they always run away? <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, what as well. Sorry. I was thinking it was excessively loud. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a bad day. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's not. Exactly, Grant. Uh, Skyhawk 536 Hotel Fox Romeo 4 with Tango for a northwest departure. Skyhawk 536 Hotel Fox Shuttle Land Executive Ground, runway 7 Alpha 7, taxi oh. via Echo Alpha, cross from my 13 Alpha. Older viewers of the channel, not older. No, uh, just no. The uh, original uh, people. Uh, OGs. OGs, yeah. From the gang signs. <laughs> People that have been watching my channel for a long time will know this fellow. His name's Otto. Very good pilot. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we used to fly a lot together. We used to do like a weekly kind of flight. We'd uh, split uh, cross countries and, and stuff, uh, go to different places. It's all on the channel. Then I became an instructor. Our flying slowed down significantly. You don't fly that often anymore, do you? No, last time I flew was uh, May. And it's now Columbia September. Airport via the so it's been a little bit. Yeah. So this flight review has Night. come at a good time. But what I always say is, coming back to flying is like riding a bike. It's just shaking off rust. But whenever I've flown with this fellow, he, he doesn't seem to rust. <laughs> oh, I've been left in a pond. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Alright, well there's no way to get the wind in front of us, so... Do you want to just point it forward this way? I'll go outside and I'll blow. <laughs> Alright, anything that happens on the roll, I'll just fly four brakes. Anything that happens just after a rotation, I'll pitch down 65, land on any of the runway remaining that we have. Uh, blow 100 feet. Anything above 100 feet, below 1,000 feet, I'm going to let you have controls. Alright, I'll we'll do it official but I'm just gonna go you <laughs> yeah. so <Yeah>. me <laughs> anything above a thousand feet uh we'll look about swinging around for any part of the airport environment and if it's a taxiway figure it out it's, uh, it's flat I don't care how I go home <laughs> 
Any questions, you good? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, let's get rolling. Sky 536 Hotel Foxtrot, runway 7 at Alpha 7, left turn northwest on crew, cliff takeoff. Runway 7's on the runway, run 7's coming on DG. Full power. Uh, air speeds alive. Ages are green. Yes. 60. Well, my mate. Welcome to the sky. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. You're doing a great job so far. I'm the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Above a hundred feet. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it is himself. <laughs> we make sure full rate power is set. 80 for the climb. Looking good. Gonna rise up. <laughs> rise up! <laughs> to about 1300 feet. <laughs> Risen. Why are you only going to 1300? Because we've got the da Bravo above us. Oh, the Davo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Bravo airspace. Good, good, good. Why does my map look <laughs> wet? <laughs> We're just going to get to that point. <laughs> yeah, so the seat spiral emergency descent. Have you, uh, have you ever done that before? I've done it once in my private training, which... Okay. So you obviously had a good instructor. Corey was uh, was good, going above and beyond. Very, very good to be exposed to something like that. The reason that I like to do it, especially on a flight review, is because the amount of times that I've been flying with somebody and I've cut the power next to an airport or over an airport and the person decides that, oh, there's a field over there. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make it to that lake? <laughs> yeah, we could. Could we make it out of it, though? <laughs> Pictured you flabbering away. <laughs> That was a test, you d <laughs> fucking airport over there! <laughs> There's me wrangling two alligators, <laughs> one to each foot. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, they, they, you know, in my experience, people are, uh, have, more like, uh, have been more likely to choose <laughs> the wrong spot. If you've got an airport, land up the airport. Um, so that's why I like doing it. And also, you know, because the steep spiral is not tested during the private, it's good to expose yourself to it so you know that you can do it. Once we're up there, we'll do a little turn install. How about that? Yeah, fine by me. I think I've done a turn install with <laughs> On the instrument. I think I did. You know why? Because you performed so well that he had to raise the standard. It was at the beginning. Oh. <laughs> Must have had a great oral. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is during it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a turn install. I know I've done something under the hood with him. <laughs> Sounds bad, that. Give him oral under the hood, did you? Oh, I passed. <laughs> All right, what do you want to do? And I'll try. All right, we're going to do a power off stall, first of all. Let's say the aircraft is trying to go into a spin. How do you recover from a spin? Give <laughs> me a second. Full aileron. <laughs> uh, i got traffic in sight down there. Um, power idle, uh, neutral aileron, opposite rudder elevator. Yeah. And of course, before power, uh, before any maneuver, we do the pre-maneuver checklist and, uh, and that, so do that. Doobie doo. Lake Popka traffic, you got Skyhawk, North Shore, uh, Lake Popka 3,000 feet westbound stalls, Lake Popka traffic. Alright, I see no one. Do you see anyone? I don't see anyone. Alright. Well, I'm that's gonna... the danger, it's the ones you don't see. <laughs> cool. Right, Lake power Popka off stall, you're on west. Wait. Heading east, I see overflying traffic. Popka. I'm sorry, Lake Popka traffic, where were you? Directly below up the. 2,200. Sorry, I just, I heard the call and I just don't know where he is. It's, do never apologize for trying not to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's interesting because we already did the clearing turns. Yep. We didn't see anyone, but then as soon as we were going to go into the maneuver, you uh, you picked up on that. And that's the importance of making radio calls in the uh, in the practice area. Simple as that, that's why we do it. Hey, Lake Bofka traffic, Skyhawk over the north west shore, 3,000 feet stores, Lake Bofka. A little bit of traffic there. For f**k's sake! <laughs> Can we get a f**k minute?! <laughs> Alright, hold the altitude, wait till flaps, I'm gonna dump all flaps, I'm gonna pretend I'm coming into landing and I'm gonna... Good, good, good. Alright, there's 85. There's... Uh, 0578, under the restricted shell. Uh, 5,500, doing uh, 10. Uh, 70, and I'm gonna land. Gonna land, gonna land, gonna land. Landing, landing, landing. What's a silly instrument rated pilot? Beautiful stall. Beautiful stall. Level it off, get some speed. Not much of a lapse. 
All right, turning stall. All right, and uh, what direction do you want it on? We'll do left. Oh, yeah, slow it down as if we're going base to final. So, I mean, I'd pick something that you want to line up with, I don't know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how about I just turn left? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there 60. 60, base to final. Keep the nose up. There you go. A little bit less bank. More back pressure. There he goes. Brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> Easy. Uh, All right, sweet. Put me on a uh, right downwind for nine. And uh, we'll do it uh, left turns uh, for the steep spiral. What altitude do you want? 3,000. No more than 60 degrees of bank. In all honesty, you're probably going to roll out on downwind uh, after three rotations. That's the commercial standard, three rotations. Okay. You're probably going to roll out around 1,500 feet, maybe a little bit less. Okay. Um, we'll and then I just want to, I just want you to do like a power off approach we'll to uh, from here, my nine. Left the nine, nine, yeah. Three, two. Uh, obviously, in the real world, it's as many rotations as it takes that you think it, or you think it's going to take to get you down. Sure. Commercial standards just three. There's no wind today, apparently. Right. Uh, so you're not really having to compensate for it too much, but just see what you need. I, I want to see. See if you can maintain a, a constant radius around a constant spot. Okay. All on the north traffic, Sky up 536, Hotel Fox Road, 3,000 feet on a uh, really high right downwind runway 09. We're going to do steep spiral uh, emergency descent. All simulated, of course, down in runway 09, all on and off. All right, well, I don't see anyone. We're all light, lit up and everything, so picture's going to go for Rich as well. This is going to be good. Again, I, I don't think this is practiced enough. No, I agree, because I'm kind of interested slash sort of concerned to see how this is going to go. Uh, it's going to go absolutely swimmingly. So, max 60, so somewhere between 45 and 60. Yep. So, about 52.5. Yes, there you go, because oh. that's right in the middle <laughs> of... The... <laughs> 15 divided by 2, 45 plus 7.5, easy. Yeah, runway 9. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. So, we've had an engine failure. It takes a few seconds to sink in. Oh, sh**. There's the point. I'm really high. Do it. All right. See, I'm already, I'm already too slow. So. All right. There you go. Nice coordination. Yeah. There we go. We're a bit slow. A little bit slow. Let that nose drop a little bit. Beautiful. Steeping it up just a touch, I'd say. Actually, no. I'm gonna stay quiet. <laughs> I see you burying the bank a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, it's kind of through choice and kind of not. I mean, it's more, I'm guessing. If this was a real life situation, I'd be like, let's just go for filled. <laughs> and that's the problem. <laughs> that's why we're doing it. Check that speed a little bit. A little bit low. Thanks. Beautiful. And you can see, you were rolling now, we're coming towards uh, 1600, 1500 now, coming back towards the downwind. We've remained a constant radius. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm not going to do one more. I don't think I got the altitude to do it. So, well, beautiful downwind, and now it's just the power off uh, 180, basically. Um, bearing in mind that you are 1,200 feet. I know that's why I'm extending this a bit. Yep, I like it. All on and off traffic. Sky 536, Auto Fox Trot, right downwind runway 09. Uh, that's uh, all on and off. And we will bear in mind uh, a go around is always an option if we need it. Yeah, because we actually have an engine. Yes. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done this. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is a big test. It's a big test. Definitely high. Yeah, we'd be running way long. Yeah, we're going to go around. Roger. <sighs> Oh, on the north, 536, Fox, going around 9. Get yeah. back on down, we do yeah. the power off again. I'm gonna. I didn't like that. That was bad. I don't like that I can't do it. Well, you you, you, you can do it. Well, if, uh, so if you're high on final, what are your options? What could you do? Uh, well, you can do a, um, a slip. And that's what I was trying to do. And I, was, yep. I, I couldn't. I couldn't get it to kick. Morning, we should be on the ramp what else can you do? <laughs> Scream. <laughs> yeah. So you got a slip, which you were doing, but we were really high. Yeah. Uh, two semesters. Oh yeah. I just didn't think in that case we'd have. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Fly it north for a second. Take it out of Kissimmee. Come back around. 
the I mean it's obviously it's a it's a legitimate fear to have, but I'm always I've always had the concern of coming in low and slow. Yeah. So anytime I do these power ups I always I always side on the or err on the side of being long than short. But that sometimes obviously doesn't work. Yeah, well yeah, it's better to be high than to be too low. However, in this situation, we've got a 2,500-foot runway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to know if uh, Jair... 566 Hotel Fox, sure, final nine, one north. <laughs> Can I go Kissimmee first? <laughs> yeah. F*** it, back up to Leesburg. <laughs> that descent at 1,000 feet per minute. It's not doing anything for stabilisation, but... It's helping you get down again. Emergency situation. Yeah, I'm still not going to make. Uh, I might. Uh, I'm going to be way too fast. What do you think? Uh, keep going. We'll just do a full stop taxi back if we need it. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, actually, I could make this, couldn't I? Quite easy. Beautiful. Yeah, you've easily made it. <laughs> if we land. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am going to do a full stop. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. There we go. Now the thing is, you were in the. You put yourself into the same situation where you were high. Yeah. My opinion, just extend that downwind a little bit more. One and off traffic, Sky 536, also shot back taxi in runway 090, one and off. Where my thought process was, I'm not, again, I'm not, like, arguing what you're saying. I'm just saying that from what I was saying, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> my point is, is that if you extend the downwind too far, of course, then you're going to be low and slow. And that's Correct. my fear. Correct. Is it extending it too far? Correct. So, yeah, definitely, hindsight, sitting here now, going, I could have extended it a bit further. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the time, I'm going, you've gone too far, you've gone too far, you've gone too far, you've gone too far. I need to do this definitely more often. Let's be fair, like if you do it into exec, you're fine. You've got f***ing 6,000, 6, 7, 6,000 foot of runway. And here you've got less than half that, so. Yeah, yep. again, quick maths. Uh, you've just hit the nail on the head as to why I like doing this stuff. Uh, I, I don't just, just like coming out doing stalls, uh, steep burns, slow flight, whatever. All right, I see you've already got your 10 degrees of flaps in there. It's going to be a short field takeoff. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, like a light to be off the ground by. One, two, three. 20 Break. feet, get it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, holding the brakes. Brakes released. Short field takeoff. Airspeed's alive, gauges are green. We already said that. There's one. There's coming up two. <laughs> and Thank you. we've hit the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell. oh god. I gave up. Oh god, he's gone. I lost him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh fing cry. We've hit the trees. <laughs> Woo! That <Not> hurt. <laughs> Just the dejection. We've hit the trees. <laughs> Keeps going. <laughs> that was an unrealistic. That was quite short. Yeah. We're going to do a short field landing. You see the, the windsock? Yeah. Within 200 feet of that. Oh, OK. So not before it? Not before it. That's a good reference point. Yeah. On north traffic, Skyhawk, 536 Hotel Fox, uh, about to turn uh, right base runway 9. Full stop, on the north. But that from this angle, you can't see the windsock. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. All right, so your speed's down at 65 at the moment. POH says 62 for a short field, which I still think is too fast. In the north, uh, Warrior, right base, runway 9 RB, a full stop tax. Smooth. I saved it, kind of. I mean, not on the point, but I would say it was within 200, right? Yeah, you were within limits. Very nice. Nice and smooth. It was quite smooth, wasn't it? Yeah, it's very smooth. <laughs> very smooth. I don't even know that we don't. <laughs> All right, well, that's that. That is uh, the recorded portion of the flight review is, is done anyway. The power off, uh, a pro he's gone, he's gone. <laughs> this is a little little building that they've got, a little sh shed that they've got here at, uh, at the air park. What uh, tell you? <laughs> You've got another pre-flight to do. Coming up here for years. Uh, dating back to, <laughs> dating back to, <laughs> dating back to 
2015 when the channel started, it started here. Steep spiral was good for you to go ahead and practice. The power off 180, the first one a little bit high. Uh, the second one you did better with because uh, you actually touched the down and didn't kill us. So hey, that's why you do a flight review. You got to come out. It's not a pass or fail sort of thing. It's up to proficiency. And uh, he got himself up to proficiency at this point. So we'll go out and do a couple of other things to finish off the flight review. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you being here. Thank you to you for letting us uh, kind of join for your your review. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. If you're not subscribed to Ludus Aviation, subscribe. Uh, he's also got a channel, never posts anymore. <laughs> but you see us both on there, you can go over to uh, what was it called? Autopilot. <laughs> I was going to say flight creations. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Used to be called flight creations. It's autopilot aviation. I'll new leave. channel, completely rebranded. All new content. Well, <laughs> <in two years. laughs> yeah. But. Just wait till next year when he makes a new channel. Yeah. Anyway, all right. I'll see you in three years. <laughs>